Hello and welcome to this fifth installment in the I Test Your Apps series where I test out your apps. So again, you have sent in your apps and I have chosen six of them which I'm going to feature in this video. Now, some, a couple of things have changed in order to um, get your app featured on this series and it's because I've received a bunch of requests, hundreds of apps and some of some people are sending them in five times with different accounts and all of that stuff. So just to make it easier and simpler, I've created a Patreon page. Um, so if you just join the first tier, I think it's three dollars, you will be able to send in your app and you will get on the list and then I will pick you from there. So basically uh, three dollars, then you will be on the list and then I will pick you for one of the shows. But you can just take a look at that and it's really just a form of validation just to so I don't get 10, um, 10 from the same person so that everyone gets a chance to join and uh, those who are really serious about getting on this show, show that's, that's the way to do it. So that's it for the announcement and small changes. But now let's get into the app review. So the first one we're going to take a look at is gift note. So let's open it up and see what it's all about. Again, I've not opened these apps. So this is, my, this is pretty much my first time. Some of some apps I've just opened and closed again, but uh, this is pretty much the first time I use any of these apps. So this is gift note. And I guess you can write some notes as to uh, gifts that you want to buy. Okay, so here you can add an image. Let's just take an image. So the recording stopped when I opened up the camera, but I did take a picture and it ended up like this. So a great design. I can try to just create one more. And there were a couple of things that I noticed while doing this. So I can write in Peter, for example, and I can write uh, a camera, which was what I took a picture of camera done. So the first couple of things that I noticed is that maybe you could integrate it with address book so that I can import certain contacts and then get more information about them. Also, uh, the text fields, you can just make a small adjustment like check a box and then the first letter uh, of the word is going to be a capital letter. That way I don't have to um, do it explicitly say that, say that it's going to be a capital P. It's just going to make it a capital P in Peter. Then you can also set a notification week notification, month notification. And one thing that I did notice is the awesome um, animation that you have on the done button. I would just, uh, because it really reminds me of the Snapchat take a picture button. Uh, I might confuse it with take a picture or something like that. I, I would just have it say done or maybe a check mark so that I know that that's the button to press when I'm done. Then I click it and then we have that Okay, so I need an image, uh, but then recording is going to stop. So I'm just going to leave it at that, but you click it, nice check mark uh, animation, and then you get it right here. One thing that I would probably add um, is just the ability to edit it because as I, I don't think I have that right now, but I can delete it, but I don't think I have the ability to edit it. That's something I would just add. Other than that, I think it's a great app. I, I like the design and when you add multiple uh, gift notification, I think it's going to look very nice with the image. Just I would just add the edit feature so that I can edit the gift. If I don't want to give Peter a camera, but for example, a guitar, then I can go in and edit that. Just That's just my recommendation there. So let's jump over to the next one which is 2D. Again, the recording stops when I turn them around. No big deal, we're back again. And uh, 2D physics. There's one reason that I chose this game and you will see why in a couple of seconds, but let's just click play. Uh, so I already complete, completed uh, number one because I wanted to check it out if it really worked. But uh, let's do number two. I guess we need to try to get the ball into this box. I just didn't quite remember, just play. And now let's click 20 times on this person right here. That's me. <laughs> Good job, uh, nice animation. And that's why I chose the game. That's, uh, that's, the, that's the quality requirements that we go through here at Sebastian headquarters is, am I featured in the app? And yes, I was, so yes, it, uh, got featured in this video, but um, yeah. 
But now that we have seen that, let's just take a look at the actual game. It's about, I think if I understand it correctly, it's about learning some kind of physics while we play a game. Uh, I, okay, so here I have a toolbox. Nice, and then I can drag him, drag him in. Rather like that. And then I can just click play. And then, no. Okay, so it has to be exactly aligned. And let's try to click play again, and now, Okay, I also have to land in the box. This is getting a bit harder than I thought. Let's just try to do a little bit like this. So we decrease the speed of the ball and that works. Okay, awesome. Uh, I, I, okay, so now I'm there permanently. That's, that's great. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's it's a it's a lovely game, and and you're really able to do a lot of things here, and great animations, great gameplay, great graphics. I like it. I like the game. It's great animations, great graphics. Are uh, very user friendly, and uh, it reminds me of a professional game. Awesome job. Let's just start the recording again. This is my fourth recording. Let's start again. Here we go. The next one is Comfy College. Collage. Comfy Collage. Um, here you can make a bunch of stuff. Let's take an image of a G chord. That's an exciting image. And then I can add some text. Uh, G chord. Okay, it's white. Can I make some adjustments to the text color? Okay, let's just share. Move, zoom, rule, tap object to put it on top. Okay, so three times tap. Okay, got it. That changes it, to, it changes it to black. So what this basically is, it's it's not about making any fancy images. It's just about if you have an image and you need some text on it, this is that for you. It's simple and straightforward. Uh, it's so simple, in fact, that there aren't buttons for the commands. You just have to tap. A certain amount of times in order to change the layout so here we go at black box no box white box black box three times changes the color of the text so it's kept minimalistic and i'm going to give you a plus for that uh, but you are required to read the information before you start the first time a user launches the app i would probably display you know uh, or having go, th go through a guide on how to do it uh, so that he doesn't end up here and then has no clue what to do, and then shuts down the app. So I would probably have him go through, you know, you can display a guide, three steps, you can click on next or skip it, whatever the user wants to do, and then he's being presented with the app, then he knows what to do and he can get cracking. Simple app, but uh, it does the job, not for fancy image editing, but adding text to images as far as I can understand this. So that way I like the app. It's, kept, it's simplified, which I'm going to give you a plus for. Thank you for sending in the app. Matrix Man. No clue what this app does or is about. Swipe through and then I can click play. And then we're starting. So, okay. Okay, so I can't go where my footsteps are, but I guess I have to get to the beer is my guess. Yes, you earn credits. Awesome. Beer points earn six. Street bonus, one. Beers collected, one. So what I'm guessing right now is I have to get to the beer without getting caught by that dog. And we got probably, and let's get the beer. Okay. Okay, now it's suddenly getting harder. And I am guessing that I can't cross the, the, the tracks of the dog either. So I'm not going to do that. Okay, so now you have to become a little more strategic. strategic. Okay, so when I go here, he's closed in. Ha <laughs> ha, he can't do much right now. Okay, so it's it's actually getting harder and you have to use your brain in order to make this be able to play this. I like the game. I haven't encountered any questions as, as to what to do at certain stages. I could exit the game when I wanted to. Let's see if I can do it within the gameplay. Okay, so I can't exit now without actually completing the level. Okay, so then I can either I have to exit now or if I exit during the game, I 
quit my streak. Got it. I like the game. It's well made. Can I share it? I'm, not, I'm now just going through my checklist in order to find something here. Is it connected with Game Center? Leaderboards probably is. Uh, not so much sharing, but I like the game. It's great. It's simple and easy. I would, if you have the possibility to do so, that I could choose the difficulty, the difficulty level. So that instead of going through all of the first levels that I can just jump to hard if I want that and get a bit more brain exercise than what I did right now. But I see that it progressively becomes more difficult and I like that. So great game. Thank you. Pretty notes. An upgrade from your Apple Notes. This is the app that you want. <laughs> Let's see if it is. Pretty notes. I got the information up here. Awesome layout. It, it it's clean. It has that flat app app design. Just going to pick this color. New note. I can write hello. Of course, I'm going to write hello world. Then I'm going to click on return. Okay, so I don't have a done button up here. Prob I would probably add that so that, or if I just tap outside of the keyboard, no, that wouldn't be a good idea because you want to highlight places in the text, but just have a done button above the keyboard. And then I click this arrow up here probably to add it. Okay, so I just have, I have to exit the node in order to hide the keyboard, it looks like. So I now have to exit it and then I can't tap it. Okay, so that's how I would hide the keyboard. I would, as far as I see it right now, first have to exit the note and then go into it again in order to see it full screen. I would just have a done button above the keyboard so that you can hide that and read the full note if you want to do that. Um, I don't see the option to share the note if I wanted to do that with someone. So I would probably add that also, just a share button, uh, maybe also an iMessage uh, extension. Else it's, it's a completely basic note app. You can take notes, that's it. But that's also a good thing because it keeps everything simple. You just have to make sure that, that your note app is special in some way. Why would somebody choose this over the default Apple Notes app? Um, that's just something I would think about, uh, but I really like the design. It's clean, it's nice, and I especially like how you can choose the colors. It's re it reminds me a bit of the Headspace app, if you have used that. It's also these nice flat icons. Um, I like the app. It's simplistic. It does the basic stuff. I would just take a look at how are you different from all the other notes app because right now I haven't seen anything, but I like the cleanliness. I like the simplicity and that's always going to get a plus from me, a thumbs up from me. So great job. Go Lama Go. Again, a game. Ha ha ha. Share button. And I can share it on Facebook and Twitter. Great job. Great job. Uh, that's the first thing I see. Then also info button up here. I wouldn't probably have um, a settings button in the info menu. There I would just have information and no settings because I will never know that there is actually a settings button in the info menu. Uh, I, would I would expect that to be in the settings button somewhere. Uh, play Go Lama Go. Okay, right now I see this as four separate buttons. Okay, so I can't even press them. I would just make sure because right now I don't see the difference between the button and the text. For me, it looks like play llama go. That's where I have to press. I have to play uh, press the play button in order to play, but nothing happens. And because the label takes up like 50% of the screen, uh, I would guess that that's probably also a button, but it isn't. So I'll just make sure that make it absolutely clear that that is just a label, not a button that I can pr uh, press. And then we have the start game button here. Do, 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 do. And I, as far as I know, I can't jump. So I'm just going to, okay. So I get a new score for every line that I pass. I think this can take some time. Again, the first thing I notice here, where is my pause button? <laughs> if I want to, if I, let's say I'm on a ridiculous long streak, and I just become tired and I just want to set it on pause or 10 seconds then I have no, I can't do that. Or just an exit button, because right now, if I don't want to play anymore, my only option is to exit the whole app and you don't want to have the user to exit your whole app because uh, then time spent in your app decreases significantly. So I would just have 
an exit button. May, may, maybe he only wants to exit to the menu, then close the phone and then continue. Right now he has to shut down the app in order to get back to the menu. Uh, but that's it, that's a, that's a cool game. It's simple, just two things. I would never have settings in an info button. I would have that in a separate info screen. I like the share button. Uh, I would make the, the um, button make the button look like it's a button and the label look like it's a label so that that's complete so uh, thank you for sending in that app i also like the app icon it's nice looking thank you everybody for sending in your apps that was my quick little app review here uh how long has it been 20 minutes or so um hopefully you enjoyed it and it's still recording that's awesome uh, as I mentioned in the start of the video, a link for Patreon will be down there once you um, join there and support the channel, which is of course greatly appreciated, then you will also be able to send in your apps and I will make sure to review them for you. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you click the subscribe button and I'll see you back in the next video. Thank you for watching.